my name is Lion Shaw with RVMax.us, and today we have a stunning 2011 American Heritage 45B. Uh, this is a bath and a half coach. It's the epitome of the American coach lineup. And being a 2011, it has managed to not have death. This is a 650 Cummins ISX, of course, side radiated with the 12.5 Onan quiet diesel generator. Starting in the front, we've got a 12.5 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel that I mentioned before. The 3M film up here has some stains in it, but it's just in the film, so this could be easily removed. We actually have some people uh, that can do it for us. The big plus about this 12.5 generator is that it's on a massive gen slide. In fact, they call this a front cap slide because the whole bottom piece of the front cap comes out with the generator. And above that, we've got our one piece windshield here. So this one piece um, is actually very slick. So instead of seeing the rubber seals, all of the body panels actually overlap the piece of glass, giving it a slicker look. And you only have one seal at the very top that's exposed. Nice looking windshield. Now these are the top of the line uh, triple stack Velvac mirrors and they're chromed out and they come from above. They look really nice like that. Front cap has a little bit of clear coming off on the top. It's unfortunately common, especially on black uh, foreheads. It can be very easily taken care of. This coach has a gorgeous paint job. Actually, it's funny, this paint job in 2012 if I'm not mistaken, was actually an option. In 2011, it was just the standard graphics. And it's, uh, it's pretty stunning for sure. You also have vinyl covers over the flush dual pane windows. And these vinyl covers continue the stripes and the styling of the coach, which is quite nice. Now, as you've probably already noticed, we have the full Gerard package all around the coach with the body caps, the front and rear caps, um, styled upwards to meet them, giving the coach a much more substantial look. And especially on a 45 footer, it's more proportional. The coach stands at 13 feet, five inches. It's a tall bus. We've got tall ceilings. We've got excellent storage down below. It's just a striking coach. On this side of the bus, we've got a full wall slide. So this full wall slide absolutely busts open the interior. The grills are nice. So when you come around back uh, to start observing the rear end and that 15 liter, you'll notice these big, thick stainless grills covering the side radiator and the um, rear engine hatch. These are thick pieces, very solid. And there is a chrome package all around the coach too. They go nice with those Alcoa polished aluminum reels. 650 horsepower. You know, 650s are supposed to be rated at 2,100 pound-feet of torque. For some reason, the brochure is saying 1,950 pound-feet of torque, which is the same amount of torque that the 600 horsepower puts out. So I think that's incorrect on the brochure. 650 horsepower should be making 2,150 pound-feet of torque. We'll go with 1,950. Either way, it's an incredible amount of torque. Pipe through that 4,000 Allison transmission. Now around the passenger side of the bus, we've got two more slides and you can kind of get an idea of how big our master bath is. We've got the master bath in the back here. And the patio space is decked out with two 18 foot, so 36 feet in total of Gerard awning package. Honestly, it looks longer than 36 feet but I'll believe what the spec sheet says. In addition to the massive flat plane awnings we get from Gerard, we also have a slight optional upgrade. We've got electric sunshades that drop out of the tip of the Gerard. So once that's completely deployed, if the sun starts getting low in the sky, you can drop down those optional features um, to give yourself some more shade and actually a little bit more privacy while you're hanging out in your patio space. Now, of course, it's got an outside TV, um, there's a lock on this, pops open like that. And what's nice about this, this outside TV is it is on a swivel. So it's not just mounted there. You can bring it out, move it around. It's the original TV, but still Sony looks good in here. You can easily hook up HDMI ports in the back. It can be a smart TV. It's got outside speakers here. Um, but if you wanted to upgrade this TV, that's a piece of cake. Having an outside entertainment is kind of a must on a high end coach like this, but those extra little pieces in the awnings that come down and out of the Gerards, which is actually a pretty rare feature 
um, are really a huge selling point. Now this has 2019 Michelin tires all the way around and they're the big 315 size. This has a massive axle rating. So we've got a 20,000 pound front axle rating, a 16,000 pound dually rating, um, and a 14,000 pound tag axle. This is an absolutely massive amount of axle rating for a bus. And you can kind of feel it. The Spartan K3 chassis is a tank. It was the top of the line um, and still is the top of the line chassis that you can get, especially um, when you consider that we have a lot of extra steel added from American Coach. They make their frame um, themselves to go around the Spartan chassis. And they've done a great job at adding to general strength um, of the entire body and the coach. So when you drive down the road, the rattles are pretty minimal and it just wants to go dead straight like a dart. All right, let's go check out the bays. So the 12,500 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator comes out on a massive generator slide. And then you've got excellent access up in the front of this, this coach. I really like how they add this little rubber flap here. This gives you extra protection um, for the little bit of water that can intrude through the seam. Um, where the body meets the generator slide. And as you can see, it's caught some, so it'll run off the sides instead of going straight down on the generator. Now the button to control this gen slide is right there, right next to an air chuck. Now this is our first pass-through storage compartment viewed from the driver's side of the coach. Like the little stainless kick there. Um, and as you can see, we've got buttons on both sides of the coach to extend and retract your uh, compartment slide. Both of the slide trays will come out on either side of the coach. Now, after our uh, first two pass-through storage compartments on the driver's side of the coach, you've got a little extra cubby hole here. And then next door is our big Aqua Hot 600D. Now this is our outside plumbing bay. Um, got a soap dispenser on the compartment door, towel rack holder. There is a gray and black flush. Um, and a big water filter, outside shower, you can check your tanks from out here, um, and all that good stuff. There's electric cord or electric reel for the water hose, and the sense it takes system is it's quite nice. There's also a nice little schematic of the plumbing here. Now, in the very back of the coach, the last compartment before we have our side radiator, it's rare having a compartment here, um, but with this wheelbase, it allows us to have that compartment. We've got our electric reel. In the back is where we've got our 650 horsepower, 2150 pound-feet of torque, 15 liter ISX Cummins. This engine has just received a fluid and filter change, um, new oil, new fuel filters and oil filters, and it also has a fresh air intake filter. The side radiator um, allows us great access to the back of this engine, and this is one heck of a powerhouse. This compartment is called a service compartment, and it's quite nice to have. It gives us excellent access to the primary fuel pump and the air dryer filter. Normally, you've got to crawl way up underneath to get access to these two filters, um, but in this situation, you can just easily get to them right here in the back corner of the bus. Now, we also have two fresh starting batteries back here, um, in addition to some fuses uh, ch for chassis side electronics, as well as two uh, cutoffs um, which are those little yellow tabs over there for the chassis side components. There's also a little diagnostic port there. Now, right next door, we also have that extra little storage cubby hole. Now, this is where we've got our battery compartment. We've got five 8D series Lifeline batteries um, that were installed in late 2019. These batteries are good for 10 years, and having five of them is awesome, especially with those two inverters that we've got. These are about $1,000 a piece. And uh, I also like the fact that we've got these cutoffs on the top of this compartment. So when you go to store the coach, you can easily shut off power being drawn from these batteries. Now this is the passenger side view of our first large pass-through storage compartment. As you can see, we've got upgraded LED compartment lights here. And all you do is click a button and slide out that big slide out tray. This coach does have two large pass-through storage compartments, um, both of them with this electric slide tray. All right, let's head inside. Welcome inside this coach. To Kai and I, this is quite a timeless interior. 
uh, especially for this generation of coach. And I think that's for a couple different reasons. You've got good craftsmanship in here. The woodwork is solid thick full grain leathers, nice countertops. Two, the styling was done in a manner that doesn't feel at all like a particular generation of coach. You know, from the color of the woodwork to the use of leather on the ceiling to the color of the leather, all of those things feel pretty timeless. You know, if you look at like the window treatments, especially, look at what they're built out of. You've got solid wood, just a subtle little styling effect here in the center of that wood with the classic wall light Alcantara leather on the centerpiece around the wall light. So that's the main material used around all the windows. You've got your quartz countertop on the bottom as window sills. You've got beautiful woodwork and then you've got some leather. To finish it all off, you do have electric shades throughout the interior. One or two shades, I think one shade is a little finicky and it kind of happens. We'll point that out. Um, this coach is not perfect, it's a 2011, it's uh, what, 12 years old? But the interior knocks our socks off. The tiling is porcelain. We've got a nice porcelain tile floor from front all the way through the bedroom and into the master bathroom. These accent stones are alternated. This accent stone here, this square, this gray square, is individual little smaller stones. And then this one here, for example, is just one large porcelain piece. The leather, as mentioned, is super nice. Uh, this is all villa furniture, top of the line furniture. And the leather is like a full grain, thick leather. American Coach, at this point in time, in their top of the line buses, put this very, very nice leather that will last a long time. And at one point, um, just a heritage. It was an option for the Eagles to have uh, this leather, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's the type of uh, stuff where you slowly notice more details. Like you notice the very subtle accented piping that goes around um, with a nice little hexagonal pattern uh, kind of inlaid in the, in the piping. And then over here, you've got this cross stitching um, on the back. And the cross stitching is done in like thick, thick leather pieces. It's not like some little stitching. I mean, that's like thick leather stitching. It's super cool. So the couch is gorgeous. And another thing you notice is that piping material is kind of continued in these little pieces. These furniture pieces are uh, top notch. As you can tell when you're in the coach, um, this couch actually has a pull out air mattress underneath. And um, these two front chairs will swivel. There is a, a smidge of a little bit of wear right there. I'm just nitpicking small stuff you're gonna see um, on this chair, but the chairs are in all nice shape. It's not wear from like, you know, people sitting in it too much or anything like that. It's just where it's been scuffed from walking by it. That happens. Across from our um, air mattress couch, we have another large leather covered villa couch. And by the way, the two front co-pilot seats, which swivel are villa pieces too. Now this one will just jackknife. So you pull this up and then it goes flat. And down below, that jackknife, we do have a nice large um, drawer uh, full of storage space. And there are storage cabinets above uh, this couch. Above this couch. And that's what's so cool about this heritage is they've, they've dipped down into that zone of ultra luxury bus where they've eliminated cabinets over there in lieu of extra nice looking window treatment pieces that make the bus feel much more finished out. So I think they've nailed that balance pretty well. They've still squeezed a lot of storage throughout the bus, which we'll see here as we go through it, while also, as mentioned, dipping into some of those extra features that you get out of a top of the line luxury coach like this Heritage. Now the countertops are polished quartz. They're stunning. Uh, this right side piece here has a little crack in it, but no big deal. It's an extra, uh, feature you know it's a custom crack that they have done here <laughs> but yeah large sink area the right sink is very big and then we place that piece back down the left side is still a good size that's the size of the deep side on most rvs now all the fixtures are in this uh, nice material that is like a brushed stainless up here we've got our microwave convection oven top of the line profile it's an advantum this is like a bigger unit 
in total. And it also is a very nice, slick interface. Now down below, we've got a Gen Air uh, flat top stove here, electric. We've got a big burner in the back and a smaller burner in the front, but this smaller burner is still bigger than most burners in coaches. The porcelain is continued on the backsplash here with unique accent pieces down below that make the coach feel a little more special. Now down below, um, this was an option. This is a dishwasher and a drawer with a matching wood cabinet piece over it, so it blends right in. There's a good bit of storage down below. We've got a nice little pull-out trash can here. So this will actually just slide out like that and you can keep one open if you need. And then it's got like this little handle so you can actually lift a little bucket out of there. That's a nice little feature. Now over to the right, you've got three deep drawers. There's beautiful cabinets up above with plenty of pantry space here. These have been finished out with these nice glass pieces and custom soldered accenting um, out of metal on top of the glass. This is quite a unique piece. You only see in a handful of coaches out there. Yes, the wood is beautiful. I will try my best to not bore you with saying that too much, but there's a lot of extra wood pieces um, throughout the coach. Now this is our big stainless Whirlpool household refrigerator. And remember, you can run this household refrigerator off of just one of your inverters, especially with those big 8D series AGM batteries. You can run that sucker for a long time off battery and inverter power. And to the left of it, they still remembered to give us this pull out pantry drawers. Solid feeling, clean, solid wood in there, easier to keep clean than carpeted pantry spaces. And across the hall from our galley space, this is where you can control um, pretty much everything in the coach. You've got your air conditioning control here, three zones. You've got your tile heat here. Um, the front zone works, back zone uh, does not get hot. Control your tile heat here. You've got your sensor tank, tank monitor here, so you can check your tank levels quite easily. And then you've got your slide out control. So this is the passenger side front slide out. And this is the main full wall slide out that carries the kitchen and all that stuff. Now up above is where we've got our inverter control. One is labeled specifically. So this is what you're gonna use to power up your household refrigerator. Um, and then down below is where you will power up your Aqua Hot 650. So you can use, either use the diesel burner in the Aqua Hot, um, or you can use up to 3000 watts of electric heating in that Aqua Hot, or you can put them both on at the same time. There's also an engine preheat. So if you go up in the Alaska or something, you've got an extra block heater uh, via the Aqua Hot. And then up here, this is gonna be your power management control center. So this is gonna try to keep you from tripping the breakers by limiting power consumption and it'll let you know what you're drawing, what kind of power source is coming in and all that good stuff and what's drawing what. It's a pretty nice little system. Um, down below, we just have a breaker center. We also have the control for our automatic gen start. And there's the uh, little LCD panel for the surge guard, uh, surge protector. Now these are all just storage. There's one more breaker right there. Um, but these are all just extra storage here, which is quite convenient. They finished it out. And then we have a nice, I believe this is a 50 inch a Sony TV um, that's in the middle of the bus with again, extra storage with more of those beautiful soldered custom pieces. Um, the woodwork is nice. All the cabinet work is nice. Um, these latches that they use on some of these doors are brilliant. They're the higher end metallic latches. Not all the latches are like that, but um, they have given certain cabinets that extra little treatment with the upgraded latches. Now over here is our dinette. Again, polished quartz for the table itself. That gorgeous villa furniture is continued uh, for the seating at this dinette table with that piping and everything. And yeah, it's a great setup. The windows in this slide are nice. This slide is really deep, very deep slide. Um, that's why it just feels so big in the front of this thing. And it's proportional too, because you have such a long slide with that full wall. It kind of feels like a big tunnel if you don't have matching big slides. And this coach, it, it kills it for sure. And the accent lights are LED. I swear they, they were doing this one of the first to do these type of accent lights, it's got the ribbon LED RGB 
which means red, green, blue, changing colors, um, LED light strips behind all of the windows and under the cabinets, like under the kitchen and under here, and up in the ceiling on this big accent piece here that's in the ceiling, the ceiling work. So that kind of RGB is very advanced and it, as far as styling goes, because now you see like brand new Liberty coaches and they're using that type of LED. Anyways, I just wanna mention, we've got shade controls here um, and you've got some lighting controls there, extra drawer, bunch of remotes, and then extra storage space down below. All right, let's take a peek at the back half of the coach. First of all, on this side, we've got our half bath. Porcelain tile continues in there. We've got a push button Dometic porcelain toilet. We've got a big porcelain sink over here. Backsplash all finished out in here. Good storage space. You've got the direct buttons and just some extra controls for the Gerard awnings up in that cabinet. But these are deep storage spaces. And even this cabinet down here has some extra storage hidden in it. Heater exchange, so you can have heat in here. Um, little vent out window. Nicely finished, fantastic fan with uh, all the fantastic fans have these nice uh, wood covers. There's so much room, it's crazy. There's a nice pocket door right here. Um, across the hall from the half bath, we have our washer dryer stack. Very nice setup. All right, this is the master bedroom. We've got a king size bed over here to the left. Beautiful headboard, leather wrapped, multiple reading lights, storage up above deep storage up above, big windows because that is a deep slide again, um, and then controls such as all lights. You can kill all the lights from here. You can control bedroom lights. You can turn on your ceiling fan from here, um, and these shades are electric. Now there are also outlets on both sides of the bed and very adequate walking space um, in addition to walking LED lights down on the floor uh, so you can see where you're going if you get up in the middle of the night. Now the ceiling again has that decorative wood and leather piece. And across from the bed, we've got a big 50 inch Sony TV, surround sound for the bedroom here too. Big quartz countertop, lots of storage cabinets down below. That one has a subwoofer for the rear entertainment. But here we've got all kinds of storage. There's drawers down below and there's cabinet space to the left and right. Again, with those big, nice decorative soldered glass pieces. And it, this full wall slide is pretty tall, so it is carpeted down there. That carpet's very clean. We just had it steamed. We like to have that done, so the carpet's all very nice and clean, but it becomes flush with the tile and the floor when the slide's fully extended. I'm 5'11", and I'm standing in the slide, so that is a good amount of slide height, gotta say. Um, it makes this bedroom feel huge. Now, check out this pocket door, by the way. This is a nice pocket door. I love these pocket doors. They look magnificent. I mean, they're heavy, solid wood, and then this kind of, it's not clear at all. You can't see through it, but it is amazing. It looks so good, so good. Okay, master bathroom. But right before we get to the master bathroom, we have ourselves a very proud mirror. Um, you know, that's one of the things about these coaches the American Heritage, this one in particular, they were proud of having some classic, timeless design elements, and that includes a proud mirror, exemplifying their ability to hone that classic aspect of a coach that we all love. Now, the step up into the master bathroom is made out of porcelain tile. We do have an engine cover here that's flush, and they made it an accent piece. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is on the left, you've got your shower. This is a large porcelain shower, built-in soap rack, nice tiling. This is a square shower, so this is the thing. You only have 45 feet in a coach. This is a massive luxury shower right here. There are some coaches that have those big rectangle showers. Depends on what you want. Like I said, you only have 45 feet. So if one thing gets bigger, other things have to get smaller. Keep that in mind. So this shower is a full luxury shower to me. Um, and I think it's well balanced because it allows for more space in the living room and bedroom and other places in the coach rather than put, giving you a massive shower. Trade 
offs. That's life, right? Depends on what you want out of a coach. I think this shower is magnificent. Um, I love how they finish the stone all the way up to the ceiling. I love the color of the tiling. Really nice looking shower. Now over here we have another porcelain Dometic toilet push button. Plenty of space around it. Plenty of space to get comfortable. And I also kind of like how they didn't finish this out with glass. The bottom part, like when you sit here, it feels more private. All right, back here we've got our big wardrobe. Cedar lined. We've got the uh, controls, main controls, or direct controls, I should say, for the rear Girard. And I don't have the lights on at the moment, but um, you can see there's lots of space in there. We've got the attachments uh, for the central back. Extra little footrest piece if you want it. All the original manuals for the coach are located um, in the bus. We've got the original manuals and operator stuff for this coach. And on the right, as you can see, you've got that nice, um, dedicated, built shoe rack. Same stained wood you see in the rest of the coach. More proud mirrors. Um, and across from that stuff, we've got a double vanity. Big quartz countertop here, two sinks, beautiful backsplash, nice medicine cabinet space, nice extra wood pieces to make it feel like a nice master vanity. And then a ton of drawers and storage down below, including two cavernous storage bins or storage compartments under each sink. So this is one heck of a master bathroom. I love the double vanity. That's a nice touch. Um, the shower is nice. We've got a fantastic fan back here. And I also like how they did this. This is um, a custom feature just for the master bathroom uh, to set it apart from the rest of the coach. And it does play into it. When you get back here and you shut this door, it feels like a private little secluded area separated from the rest of the coach. And sometimes things like a unique for this room design pattern that we see some other manufacturers doing nowadays, much newer than this coach. I'm not gonna say who, um, because I think it's a good idea. If it's a good idea, hey, can't beat it, join it. Um, but yeah, this kind of sets apart the, the master bathroom. These leather pieces that hold all these recessed lights. Um, and then they have a little step down before you get to the main headliner made out of Alcantara. So cool. The bathroom lights over the toilet are the same way. Well, that is the interior of the Heritage. This is quite an interior, and I think, as mentioned, um, they did a really beautiful job at balancing a lot of different things. Storage space, super nice extra finished out luxury items, amenities, of course, are all there. Yeah, beautiful interior. Now, let's check out the cockpit of this big bad boy, and then we're gonna get it out on the road. That's so the cockpit has a uh, beautiful layout. There's a ton of switches up here and custom gauging. Looks very nice and uh, you definitely wanna get into it. Now over on the left, we've got our leveling system. We've got air leveling and hydraulic leveling on this coach. The air leveling system works beautifully hydraulic leveling does not currently come on it seems to be something simple and electronic but worst case scenario it could be a pump either way most situations you want to air level and uh, that system is to me the most used system now to the right of that we've got our silver leaf control as well as a allison six speed push button control um, for the big 4000 allison transmission there's also driver presets because this has a fully powered cockpit setup with two big villa front seats we've also got a fully electric steering wheel um, and pedal adjustment so the steering wheel you adjust with those little tabs that you see on the right and left side and the um, pedals can also be adjusted using those tabs. Now this of course is a smart wheel. You set cruise control on it. You can also set fast idle with it and then you can set the exact intermittent time in between your windshield wiper pulses, which is just fantastic. 
You can also flash the headlights, flash the taillights, all that good stuff. And it's a beautiful, solid steering wheel with that nice American Coach logo in it. Now the gauges are beautiful custom gauges with a little digital monitor in the middle. We've got a piano key switch control for the um, headlights. And then there is a three stage exhaust brake with this very satisfying to use thumb control to completely turn the system off. These are custom controls that make the dash look a lot more high end than your you know typical dash that has the thermostat controls ripped right out of a Ford. Nothing wrong with that, it just looks a lot nicer. And then you've also got separate thermostat controls that match for the passenger. There is a 12 volt power supply here, car connector right there, which is powered all the time. It actually comes from the coach batteries, which is convenient. You've also got like a north, like a, like a compass right there, digital um, hour monitor for the generator. You can turn your docking lights on from here. Remember this has some nice docking lights, two on each side and then two LEDs um, just for the rear. Now the two screens, I'm sure you're wondering what they do. The upper screen is for the sole relief control system and your backup monitor. Um, and then the screen below is your radio, Bluetooth, and all that good stuff. There's also a little table here. The passenger seat um, is quite nice, but the cockpit is noticeably well styled as soon as you come into the bus. The whole front dash is pretty sleek and um, the way they've got all the vents placed up there is really nice. The tile you're met with as soon as you come in. Um, but these front two villa cockpit chairs are fantastic with a nice Corian countertop on the right side with built-in cup holder. Good view out. Ugh, these chairs are so comfortable. Um, they will put you to sleep. And here's a nice little feature. Um, we've actually got vibrating massage features on both the front two cockpit chairs. This is one heck of a cockpit, custom styling everywhere, stuff you're not gonna see in any other coach. Beautifully done, that is well built um, and very user friendly. Everything's nicely laid out and it's very user friendly, which brings it all together and makes it one heck of a custom experience um, that you're really only going to get in this American heritage or one like it. Now this has the big Spartan K3 chassis and I can't wait to show you how it drives. The coach is an absolute beast on the road. It has a presence about it that you only get in an upper echelon coach like this. It's, uh, it's everything on the outside. It's the chrome, it's the tag axle, it's the paint job that it has. It's the body style, it's the tallness of it, um, 13 feet, 5 inches. And then another big thing is that, I don't know if you hear it, but we just hit exhaust brake coming down that hill with the 15 liter 650 Cummins. And that thing lets you know um, when you hear it going by, either on the exhaust brake or on the power, with that big turbo, 650 Cummins is a monster um, but the chassis is also a monster it has the Spartan K3 as we mentioned Liberty frame with massive axle ratings we've got a big 16,000 pound front axle rating 20,000 pound dually and then a 12,000 pound tag all with 315s uh, size tires all around so the axle ratings are substantial and the extra framework it really brings it together. The coach feels solid. Like I said, really feels like a beast. Um, and it has the presence of one too. It keeps flat going around corners um, or as flat as you can in a bus. A three stage exhaust brake is ridiculous. That's low, which is the perfect, just a little touch. You're coming down a big hill or something. Um, around town, sometimes it can be a little too much, even on low. That 15 liter just has so much torque. Um, it's such a big engine. The exhaust brake is turned up on this thing, it's nuts. When you put the exhaust brake in high, it you'll be finding yourself having to throttle up to the light when you take exits, even with a big load on the, on the back. 
Because remember, this has a 15,000 pound tow capacity. And this is all without even mentioning the Allison 4000. I mean, this is one of the best transmissions, if not the best transmission you can get on a bus. The steering is nice too. Balanced feel, it's, it's taut, it's not loose, but it's still easy to turn and um, it glides. The, the, turn, the, the front end just has a smoothness about it. You can tell it's, it's wanting you to just be calm and easy and just keep going straight down the road, down the highway, or down around curves, but just stand within those lanes with ease is what this front end has been built to, uh, built to do. The 650 is nuts. Um, <laughs> it has a little bit too much power to, to use on this speed limit. The big rated front end uh, really contributes to a very supple ride in the front of this coach. Like it's it's just the perfect amount of front axle rating on this type of coach. It's a heavy bus, um, but 16,000 pounds is plenty. <laughs> Trust me, that's plenty of rating for the front end. Anyways, this is a monster. It looks like a monster and it's heritage, all right? What more can I say? Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.